Hi, I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. So today is all about sparkly things and gringots. Now I would like to talk to you today about items regarding gringots. Um, that is gringots memorabilia. So you have unofficial and official items, including for the first time I am showing you a stunning discontinued noble collection Gringotts inspired item that you will see very very soon I can't wait because it's so stunning I really have to show you so if you'd like to see what is in this video then keep on watching if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then why not subscribe to my channel let's get started <gasps> So believe it or not, I actually went through this entire intro and everything and then I had a thing come up say, memory card error. So I was like, no, I gotta film again. But luckily it only filmed like, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so, so I need to get a new memory card. But luckily I have this one. This is only one gig, so I'm gonna have to do this video a few times, I think. But I have got some incredible Gringotts inspired items to show you. I've got a bit sparkly today because it is Gringotts. Um, Again, I have a few items that are unofficial and a few items that are official. Now, one of my official items, I cannot find for the life of me. I have looked everywhere and I don't want to go up in the attic because there's so many spiders up there. It's just so horrible. So we're just gonna have to show a picture of it instead. Um, but speaking of spiders, and I know this is a little bit personal, but I was on the toilet the other day, two days ago, right? sat on the toilet and I could see something down here by my bare feet, okay? I looked down, there's a blooming great spider running towards my feet. It was about that big, running towards my feet. So I I carefully got rid of it. I won't say the, the K word, but I carefully got rid of it. And then I turned to get toilet roll from here and there's a blooming spider there making a web. What on earth is going on, right? So that one had to go as well. Then I went in, because my boys are away this weekend at their dad's. Um, so I went into Dan's room to check everything was okay because he normally leaves his window open. Go in there, go to turn the light on. There's a bloody great spider, big, big bodied one right there. Well, it's a good job I went to the toilet because I would have gone to the toilet again in his bedroom because I absolutely pooped my pants. Um, that one had to go as well. So that was in the space of like 10 minutes. Oh my life. So I've had enough of them, okay? Eight-legged freaks, I've had enough. So I'm not going in the attic to find that last piece that I can't find. So I have some lovely items to show you. Now I'm looking down here because I've got a nice little pile going just down here. Wouldn't you like to see it? So I'm going to show you first of all my unofficial items. Now Gringotts coins obviously are expensive. We know this. We know they're expensive. However it is naughty but you can get copies of Gringotts coins on eBay and they're not expensive okay the only problem is they come from China and at the moment it takes forever because I have another 30 coming because I've got a display going on that doesn't look like the one you've just seen um, it looks it'll be different to that but that is like what it looks like at the moment um, but I have another 30 coins coming to make up for a little display I have going on in there but they look like this they are really, really pretty, pretty coins. So obviously you've got your galleon here, and then you've got your sickle here, and then you have your knut. I say knut because that's what Stephen Fry calls them, the nut here, knut. But I love them. They are about two ninety nine or something for a uh, three for a pack of three. So I've ordered ten um, because I really want to get my display looking pucker. And you know me, I'm really working hard on my displays at the moment. So they are really nice. If you would like to look at these, I will put the link down below for you. So maybe, you know, you can get them yourself. The only difference with these are they are much thinner than the actual coins themselves. Um, but they are really, really pretty. I think they're some sort of alloy, um, but they are really, really pretty. Now, another unofficial item that I have is actually from Geek Gear. 
uh, this was an item, it's almost identical, and this was an item in one of their Geek Gear boxes. Now I absolutely love it. This, the box that this was in was actually the month that I was the YouTuber spotlight for them. So there's a picture of, a horrible picture of me holding one of the Geek Gear boxes. So I will never forget the box that this was in. I think that was June or July. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. It is a Gringotts key. Okay, and you could have bought these on the website and they were numbered. So this number is there for you. I actually have two of these because I bought another one. I loved them that much. But it's so, so, so pretty. Now the other items are all official items. Um, I want to start off with an item that is in Deathly Hallows Part 2. It is the Helga Hufflepuff Noble Collection Cup. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now obviously this is a very, very, very official item. So obviously you can see the all important uh, Warner Brothers down the bottom there. You cannot use it because there is a hole in the bottom. Um, but it is solid, solid metal. But it's such a beautiful, beautiful piece. Monica is a proud Hufflepuff so she loves this blesser but this is such a gorgeous item as far as I know they are still available which is brilliant so I will try and find them and I will put the link down below for you now the rest of my items I think are all from places like Warner Brothers so we have an item um, this was actually from the Wizarding World in Florida. Now, as far as I can remember, I think you can exchange your money, your muggle money for um, wizarding money, but I can't remember exactly. I know we were in somewhere like a bank um, and you had to kind of queue and then you dealt with people, you spoke to them there and then. But I saw this gorgeous, gorgeous Gringotts key on the shelf. It is so, so beautiful. It is an official key. Um, and it is just like the one that Harry has to open his vault 687, isn't it? I can't remember the exact number of the vault. But it's such, such a pretty piece. And then it actually has like a little Gringotts galleon um, or a canut there. Well, the Gringotts symbol there, a little tag there as well, which on the back says obviously the Wizarding World in Florida. But that's a really, really beautiful ha item to have. I love that. Now... These are very recent, so obviously because you have, uh, in Warner Brothers Studio Tour London, they opened up Gringotts Bank and Vault uh, last year. Um, I was very, very lucky, me and Harry, very lucky to see it for the first time. Uh, when it opened, we were invited as guests. Now, what I loved is that you can actually get these little bags, because you can get quite a few little Gringotts items now. So there's this little bag here, and inside, are chocolate galleons they are so wicked so i love them so they're just as thick as normal galleons but not as heavy obviously and aren't worth as much so isn't that gorgeous i love it there's quite a few in there mind if you can see there's quite a few and you've obviously got your little tag there uh, with the gringotts symbol on so i really 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 like that Another item then that is available at the Warner Brothers studio is the ch the chocolate. No, God, I wish this huge. <laughs> it's the gold bar replica, the Gringotts gold bar replica. Look at that. Now, these are made of like a clay. They're very fragile because I have chipped one. I have three. They're £10 each and I did chip one. But these are so, so good. They're quite big as well, if you, as you can see there. And then obviously on the back, it has the all important information on where it was bought from. But this is so lovely. They were released uh, during last year when Gringotts Wizarding Bank actually opened. So it is a beautiful item to have. And as I said, I have three of these, so they're really beautiful. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, I don't have candles at the moment because I actually, because I don't smoke, none of us smoke. I have no way of lighting it because my lighter is empty. Um, the one we use for the barbecues, the clicky ones, empty right so if i've got two other two items that i want to show you that if you have some beautiful galleons that you want to keep safe from little nifflers like i have to with my little niffler or should say big niffler because it's huge these are absolutely gorgeous they are many boxes official many boxes so you have this one which i think has actually gone up in price this was about 20 pound when it came out um it's by uh mong monogram it is and it is the Gringotts bank with the Ukrainian iron belly on the top hugging the top of the dome 
from because he's finally got some fresh air do you know that scene always upsets me because the fact that he's tortured and he thinks he's going to be tortured and when he gets at the top and he's taking such deep breaths and you can see his eyes he's almost blind and it's just such a sad scene it's lovely because he actually gets to like breathe in the fresh air and everything and it's just such a lovely scene that he's escaping but the idea of him being tortured for hundreds of years it breaks my heart so that scene does make me get quite emotional but this Gringotts bank is absolutely beautiful. And of course you've got the silver Harry Potter written behind there. It's such a beautiful, beautiful building. I don't think they're that expensive if you ask me. I think they're about maybe 30 pound-ish, but they are really, really lovely. So this isn't the only Gringotts bank uh, that you can get, the Gringotts money bank that you can get. There is one other. Now this was the last one they released. It is the Vault 687. So this would have been the Harry Potter, the Potter Fortune Vault. So isn't it gorgeous? You've got the stalactites here and all the lime scale, lime, st lime scale, what on earth? Limestone here. And you've got obviously the gorgeous, gorgeous door to Harry's Vault there at Gringotts. Now on the back here, you've got the Gringotts written there, the back of the vault, I'm touching it because it feels so good. Because that one's plastic, but this one feels very heavy, so I don't think it is completely plastic. And then underneath, obviously, you've got a Gringotts Vault Bank Harry Potter. Um, it says Ensco, is it Ensco Limited? So this is made from a different company than the uh, Gringotts Bank that we saw just now. So what I love about Gringotts, let me tell you a little bit of history about Gringotts before I get onto the really exciting items. Now, according to Harry Potter Wiki, Gringotts was established in 1474 by a goblin called Gringot. Now, in between uh, 1474 and um, the, the Second Wizarding World War, it changed between goblin hands and wizard hands. So it was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But what I really found fascinating is that Gringotts Bank is actually apparently the only wizarding bank in the wizarding world. I don't know how that's possible because you have to go to Gringotts. I mean, obviously you can you know you can travel, sort of, but how do people get their money? You know, what's going on? And did you know that um, apparently if you are a muggle with a wizarding child, um, you can go to Gringotts to exchange your muggle money for wizarding money. So I think that's really fascinating. And what they do is that muggle money then ends up going back into muggle circulation. And I assume there'd be some sort of exchange going on between the two. So maybe only the muggle prime minister is aware of it, but they wouldn't even notice the money is gone because um, it would be transferred straight away. But it's quite fascinating. But how is there only one wizard bank? I don't get that. I just don't get it. But as the history says, it was started in 1474 by a goblin called Gringot. So there we are. There's a little bit of your history. Okay, so you've probably noticed the camera is like maybe different in every like certain clip. It's because I only have one gig memory card at the moment. My other one, as I said, died and I managed to record five minutes and then run into the computer, downloading the footage and then coming back, wiping it to start recording again. So this video has taken me hours. <laughs> I've just actually uh, bought a new memory card that'll be here tomorrow. So unfortunately the shops are shut at the moment so I can wait till tomorrow. I didn't want to use my phone because the quality is so bad compared to this camera. So what I want to talk to you next about is an item that was released back in, there is no date, oh yes there is, 2002 as a celebration of Harry Potter and Gringotts. Now I bought this a couple of years ago but this is a galleon. Now it was released in 2002, I'm not 100% sure where or how but it says Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone down here. But this coin is actually one that you can take out if you wish. But I don't want to so it's obviously inside this card and then obviously it has Gringotts on the, bank, on the back there. I think I paid about 20, 25 pound for this last year. I think it was last year, I could be wrong. 
but it's such a beautiful piece. It might have actually been a celebration of the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone being released on DVD or video because it's around 2002 that that actually came out. But isn't that beautiful? This is obviously card. And then you have obviously you've got the goblin and you've got Harry there. I think that's meant to be grip hook, isn't it? I can't tell. Uh, no, that's not grip hook. That is just a goblin there. I'm not sure who that was played by actually. But yeah, isn't that gorgeous and have the gorgeous galleon at the bottom there. But that's such a beautiful collectible to have in the celebration obviously of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone being released. Now this next item is an incredibly special one. Only the people who were employed in the Warner Brothers studio at the time of Gringotts Bank being opened last year would have been given one. Now there is, if you walk into where the vault is, if you walk in you've got the strange vault in front of you and then to the right you have this giant press which was actually what they used to create the coins. Now what they did is they created a load of Harry Potter Canut coins, you can see there, Nut coins, and they gave one to each employee at the Warner Brothers studio. This was Monica's, but she has given it to me until I die. And then she wants it back apparently, so I'm making the most of it um, until I go. But isn't that beautiful? This is an actual coin from the Warner Brothers studio. Isn't that beautiful? And it is encased in plastic there, as you can see. But it is such a beautiful, beautiful collectible. I absolutely love it. I can't believe she gave me this. I was so, so honoured. It is so, so, so beautiful. But obviously she no longer works at the Warner Brothers studio anymore, which is very, very, very sad. Now I want to talk to you about an item that I do have in my collection, but I cannot find anywhere. It's in the attic, as I said, full of spiders. I ain't going up there for anything. So I will put a picture up so you can see it. It is the Noble Collection Gringotts Coin Collection, which is now still available today. So I will put the link down below for you. It is a beautiful collection. However, mine has actually, the plastic that encases the coins underneath the protective layer has actually turned brown. So my coins are quite hard to see, but the actual coins themselves, as far as I'm aware, because I've never been able to remove them, are still in perfect condition because they've never been removed. So just the plastic has turned brown. So hopefully that is all that's happened. But it is such a beautiful item. Again, they are still very much available. And as far as I know, they'll be available for a long time to come. So they are worth getting and they are absolutely beautiful. They are proper replicas of the coins from the Wizarding Bank. Do you know, I totally forget how they had this item. Now this item was sent to me by a company last year. Obviously you had the Gringotts vault in um, the Wizard, in uh, the Warner Brothers studio tour. And uh, they obviously recreated the Gringotts bank. Now the wonderful thing is, is I actually was sent as a gift by the company, some Gringotts chandelier crystals. So I'm incredibly lucky. So obviously this is the company that sent them. And uh, I won't obviously show you what the letter reads. It's private. Um, but I have 10 Gringotts crystals that I can't get out of the bag. <laughs> They're slipping everywhere. Hang on, one more to grab, one more to grab. So these are the actual crystals that have been made to hang. Uh, well, these are actually, I won't tell you much about it because for those people who haven't been to Gringotts, uh, the Wiz Wizarding World, the Warner Brothers Studio, I won't give too much away. But these crystals were made for part of the set in the Warner Brothers Studio tour and have been sent to me as a gift. I am the only person in the world that has anything like this. So I'm incredibly, incredibly lucky. I'm honestly so thrilled about these. Um, they were so lovely to me, they couldn't do enough for me, and I just couldn't believe when these came through the post that I'd actually been sent them. And they sent me the production pictures as well of them building the chandeliers in the Gringotts Bank in the, in the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. So I was, I have all the evidence to show these are real, but I was incredibly, incredibly lucky to have received these as a gift from the company themselves. I actually had people messaging me asking, could they buy some of the crystals? I have no idea how much they're worth, but I am incredibly amazed. And they only, they stay in their packaging. They only come out when I want to show somebody. So yeah, love it. 
<laughs> okay, this last item is the item I received on Saturday morning. Oh my God, it's stunning. I've been watching this item on eBay for a while, for a good couple of months, and I finally got it. I did try talking the uh, the seller down, um, but they were not budging. So <laughs> eventually, I. I just pressed buy it now and I got it. It is a discontinued Noble Collection item. I don't know the date of this. It must have been towards the beginning of Noble Collection because I haven't seen it ever until recently. But it comes in this gorgeous little presentation box with obviously the Hogwarts crest on the front. It's blue and at the back it has HP. It's upside down, but it has HP there. And it comes with its little certificate of authenticity to say that it's an official Noble Collection item. And the item comes in a little, a little black bag, Harry Potter bag with silver writing and down the bottom then obviously it's got the Warner Brothers part so you know it's official. <sighs> so excited about this item. Now I paid, including postage, I'm gonna tell you now, I paid 120 pound. It's a lot. I did sell some items, some doubles to pay for this because this is expensive. But it is, it comes, obviously all its original packaging but it is an absolutely beautiful Gringotts Canut or Gringotts Nut solid sterling silver necklace. Again, this is a very much discontinued item by Noble Collection. I'm shaking holding it because I love it so much. I did wear it as soon as I had it just to put it on but it weighs so much it's so heavy but it is solid silver with a copper coating where the canut is oh the nut it's copper coated isn't that beautiful and then on the back so you know it is an a fit it is all the licensing that you need on the back there and to say that it is 925 sterling silver it is so beautiful the chain is 18 uh, inches and the chain itself is beautiful. I cl did clean it when it arrived. It didn't need much cleaning, but I did clean it. Isn't that stunning? I have only ever seen one on eBay and this was it. And as I said, I watched it for a couple of months before pressing buy it now. I know it sounds naughty, but I didn't tell anybody about it because I wanted it myself. And I wanted to just kind of keep an eye and see if it would go any lower. But he didn't and that was fine. Um, but it, it, I just can't get over the weight of it. It's so heavy. It is so, so, so heavy. But it is so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. This is the actual picture that Noble Collection posted up when this item uh, was on sale. And you can see it looks so pretty. But I've got to be honest, the outside area, I wasn't 100% sure if it was like a coating or a plastic coating or something. Um, because of the fact that it looked like it had some sort of thing over it. But it's not. It's just the silver. So as you can see now... It's a nice size as well, but it's so heavy. I wouldn't want to wear it very often. Um, this is something that I would only wear on incredible special occasions, like maybe, I don't know, going to an event at the Warner Brothers studio, like the one last Christmas. Um, I would wear it for something like that, but other than that, no, never. I'd be too scared of breaking it, honestly, because the chain is so beautiful. This chain is nice and thick, so you know that the chain is is good enough to handle something of this weight. It's like a blooming medallion, but it is just stunning. I am so pleased that when it arrived, it was better than I hoped. Um, I just couldn't believe it. So it's such a beautiful, noble collection, discontinued item of the um, Gringotts coin on a chain. Oh, it's just, I keep stroking it, it's so beautiful. I love it, I absolutely love it. So that's it. That's all my Gringotts items that I have to show you. I mean, it's, it's my favourite. Let me know in the comments below which one has been your favourite. Have you got any of them? I'd love to know. So yeah. <laughs> if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel?
If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. And so you don't miss any more of my videos, hit the notification bell as well. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Press the like button, the notification bell, so you don't miss any more of my videos. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon.